moving up uh, to our next university we have western new england university and to present that we have rachel with us hi rachel can you hear me yes hello can you hear me yes loud and clear rachel a very warm welcome okay great can and you i can see the lovely screen okay wonderful thank you so much so i'm ready to start yeah please start Okay, wonderful. Let me go ahead and just share this to the full view. Okay, thank you so much to Study Metro for having me as a part of your event today. And hello, uh, good morning from Massachusetts. Good afternoon and good evening to all of you listening from around the world. So my name is Rachel Lampson and I'm the Associate Director of International Admissions at Western New England University. We just heard from schools on the West Coast in California, and now we're going to travel all the way to the East Coast to the state of Massachusetts. So uh, we are we're on the, the Atlantic Ocean rather than the Pacific Ocean. So uh, this first picture kind of shows the center of our campus in the fall, which is typically September, October and November. Um, people travel from all over the country to see the fall foliage. And what that is, is when the leaves change colors on the trees, so you can see the, the orange and the red and the yellow leaves in this picture and it's just the most picturesque time on campus and um, we are very fortunate that we can experience all four seasons on our campus so let me go ahead and and um, tell you a little bit about the location and a little bit about the school so we are based right outside of springfield massachusetts which is about an hour and a half outside of boston and about two and a half hours outside of new york city Students really like this location because we're close enough where you can drive into the large cities on the weekends, you can do a lot of those tourist activities, but once you're done, you can come back to campus, which is in a very safe and suburban residential section of Springfield, Massachusetts. There's also a lot to do in the area. The picture on the screen is a photo of downtown Springfield, but again, we're about 10 minutes outside of the city center in a very residential suburban section of town. But in Springfield, we have Six Flags, which is an amusement park, the Basketball Hall of Fame for any sports fans, the Dr. Seuss Museum, uh, the Big E, which is another uh, carnival that's held every year, the Berkshire Mountains are close by, and the Forest Park Zoo. So there's endless opportunities for you to really explore the area. You can see on this map here, we are in the northeast corridor of the United States, as I mentioned. So Springfield is right in the middle with where the star is. And again, about an hour and a half from Boston, about two and a half hours away from New York City. Most students actually fly into Hartford, Connecticut. This is our closest airport. It's about a 30 minute drive away, so it's very accessible. This is another picture of our campus. You can see the leaves are, are changing colors and it does have a very um, charming New England feel. And if you're not familiar with that phrase, it um, because we're in a very suburban and residential section in a very old part of our country, the buildings are very beautiful and you get a, a, a real traditional American campus feel. So to tell you a little bit about our academics, we pride ourselves in having smaller class sizes, which means students will never be in a class with over 20 students at the absolute maximum, maybe 25 um, if, if it's a first year class. But because we are a smaller school, um, the student to teacher ratio you can see is about 15 to one. So class sizes will be very small, meaning you'll have super personalized attention from your faculty members. We are highly ranked by US News and World Report. We're in the top tier of regional universities of the North. And this past year, we're really excited. We were just ranked as a top engineering program within the United States. And of course, we have the highest accreditations, both AACSB for business and ABET for engineering. Now for students um, exploring different academic programs, we have five different colleges at Western New England University. We have business, engineering, arts and sciences, pharmacy and health sciences, and a school of law. We are one of the only regional institutions with a, a school of law um, in the state of Massachusetts as well. So um, we, we offer interdisciplinary curriculum, which means you can, if you're studying within the College of Engineering, you can also take classes within the College of Business or within the College of Arts and Sciences. So you get a really well-rounded education. Now, I understand a lot of students on this call are interested in engineering programs, so I wanted to just highlight what, what students can take. We offer biomedical, civil, computer, construction management, engineering management, electrical, industrial, and mechanical engineering. Um, biomedical and computer engineering are only offered at the undergraduate, where all of the other options are offered at both the undergraduate and the postgraduate level. 
This is a picture of Spirit. This is our mascot on campus. So we have a really big sports culture, which means on every weekend, you can find students at athletic games, you know, American football, soccer, lacrosse, field hockey. This picture, of course, was taken before COVID-19, which is why you'll notice people close together and without masks. But hopefully in the next year or so, we'll get back to this, this environment. So I mentioned we are a mid-sized school, so we have just under 4,000 students total and a very diverse student body. Our students come from approximately 27 US states um, and, and many countries around the world. And we do have on-campus residence hall for all of our students. So we are a very residential campus. About 80% of our undergraduates live on campus. And then we do have housing available for graduate students as well. Um, and I mentioned that we are a big sports school. So we have 20 Division III varsity sports and over 70 clubs and organizations. So students typically, we find they don't leave campus on the weekends. They really want to be fully, um, fully integrated into the campus culture. Um, and let me just close that, sorry. Um, and there are a lot of leadership opportunities. So, you know, you'll come to campus, you will, um, you'll, you'll go to your classes, you'll make your friends, but there's so much more than that. And we really want students to get involved as much as they can on our campus. This photo is actually of our brand new University Commons building. This is where our dining hall is, uh, their study areas. It's really, really beautiful. I wanted to highlight some of the support systems available for our students because we know coming to college is a big transition, but also coming from another country can, can be you know, quite a, um, quite a transition. So all of our students are assigned four advisors during their time at Western New England. You can see we have a faculty advisor, so someone who will help you with your major, um, they'll, they'll help you register for classes, make sure you're succeeding academically. We have a university advisor, and this person is with you throughout your entire time at Western New England, both undergraduate and graduate. So even if you change majors, they'll be there to help make sure that you're succeeding and that you're on the right track to graduate. You then have a career advisor. So this is a professional who will help craft your resume, help you reach out to companies for internships, and ultimately help you get a job after you've graduated. And then a peer advisor. This photo is a, a picture of our peer advisors a few years ago. These are upperclassmen students, so juniors and seniors, and they help you with your transition, making sure that you are comfortable in your housing, that you're making friends, and that, you, that you're taking advantage of all the resources on campus. So a lot, a lot of support for students. So why Western New England University? This is a question we receive a lot, and it's, I think it's important at an event such as this one where you're listening to a lot of presentations. So I just wanted to highlight some of our distinctive features. I mentioned our geographic location in New England, so we're close enough to the cities where you can really travel all around the US and you can see a lot of those big tourist attractions. Um, but, but again, we're, we're outside of the city center, so it's a very safe and comfortable environment. We also guarantee on-campus housing, so that takes that barrier out of the equation for you. We, we stress internship opportunities at Western New England. So we have over 1,000 sites in our, in our internship database. And because of our location, size, and national recognition, the companies within this area, they know our students very, very well. And so they trust that anyone that's being referred by the Career Center will be a good candidate. And so they, they work really closely with our students and with our staff so that students are, um, uh, we can't say guaranteed internships, but they do, uh, there are some programs that do require the internship. So we work really hard to get you those hands-on experiences. I mentioned the small class sizes with personalized attention. So again, you'll never be in a class with over 20, 25 students. In addition to the four advisors that I had mentioned earlier, you'll also be in touch with both myself in the admissions office and then our international admissions coordinator. Um, she will help students with the CPT and OPT applications, make sure that the students are adjusting properly. Um, so there's always support, not only from the academic standpoint, but from the international standpoint as well. And then for any students on this call who are interested in graduate programs, we do have four graduate terms per year. September, January, April, and July. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of when you can join campus and, um, and, and we have a very flexible application um, process. We have the rolling admission, so you can apply all throughout the year. And then finally, we don't require the GRE for our MS and engineering program. So I know that's a barrier for some students and we don't require that as part of the application process. This is a photo of our College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. This is where our health services is. Uh, as well as all of the, the um, science, uh, hard science classes are offered in this building, like biology and chemistry. 
So here's a glimpse at our tuition and fees. For undergraduate, it's, it's under 40,000 per year for arts and sciences, business, and engineering. And then on-campus accommodation is around 14,000. The graduate programs are very competitive, uh, very affordable, uh, about 33 to 36,000, depending on the program that you choose. But there are a lot of scholarship opportunities, which I love to highlight. You can see this photo was taken more recently. The students are wearing masks and walking through the center of campus. I believe this was back in September. So for undergraduate students, I'd love to explain our scholarship opportunities. So we offer a merit scholarship for all undergraduate students, which ranges from 10,000 to 22,000 US dollars per year. This is based completely off of your academics. So what we'll do is we'll do a GPA recalculation for you based on your high school transcripts. And that GPA is what we'll use to award the merit scholarship. So of course, the higher GPA, the closer it is to a 4.0, the higher amount of the merit scholarship you'll receive. Our minimum GPA requirement is, is a 2.5. So anywhere from a 2.5 to a 4.0, and you'll be somewhere on this 10,000 to 22,000 US dollar scale. That scholarship is automatic for students. There's no additional application process. You'll know the scholarship amount as soon as you apply, or I'm sorry, as soon as you're accepted. We then have the You Are Welcome Here Scholarship, which is specific for international students. This is part of a national initiative to welcome more students to the US, and we've committed between $3,000 and $10,000 per year. This scholarship can be combined with the Merit Scholarship, so you can stack them. Uh, we also have three academic-specific uh, scholarship opportunities. Social justice is for students, students studying political science, law and society, or criminal justice. Women in business, this is straightforward. This is for women who are studying business. And then for the purposes of this presentation, I did wanna highlight our women in engineering scholarship. So of course, women who are studying in the engineering fields. So all of those scholarships can be combined. So you can already see, let me just jump back to the tuition page. If it's about uh, 37,000 or sorry, 39,000 for engineering, you can already see, you can take off this amount from that cost. If you're awarded the international scholarship, this amount from that cost. Um, in addition to the Women in Engineering Scholarship. So there's lots of ways to lower that price. For graduate students, we do have PhD fellowships on a limited basis. Unfortunately, we don't offer scholarships at the graduate level outside of the PhD opportunity, um, but we are always happy to recommend some external scholarship opportunities and, and help you search for those. And finally, we understand that, that the purpose of coming to the U.S. for an education, of course, is to get that experience. But at the end of the day, it's to further your career and, and make sure that you're successful in the future. So with that, I wanted to highlight some of our career outcomes. We were recently ranked by Zipia.com as number five in the nation and number one in Massachusetts for preparing graduates for the job market, meaning between all of the internship opportunities, the personalized attention and the career coaching that we provide with your advisor. We strive to make sure that all of our students are prepared for a global work workforce once they graduate. In, 2009, in 2019, 92% of our graduates were employed or offered employment within six months of graduation. And that number actually jumps up to 96% for students within our College of Engineering uh, programs. And we just learned this fact actually, which we find really exciting. The starting salary in Massachusetts for our engineering students post-graduation is 71,000 US dollars. In, as I mentioned, in addition to the resources available um, to you in terms of the advisors, our, um, our international student coordinator will work with you one-on-one -on -one to assist with any CPT or OPT processes. This is a, a quick five minute video. I won't play it here, um, but I would encourage students interested to go to vimeo.com. And if you search for Western New England University, you can watch this video. Um, it's really cool. It, it zooms in to meet some of our students. You can see the insides of buildings, talks a little bit more about our academics, and you can meet some of our faculty and staff members. So I would encourage you all to watch that video if you have time. And that's all the information I wanted to share. I think that's my 10 minutes. So I'll stay on for a couple minutes to see if there's any questions. Thank you so much to Study Metro and thank you to the students for listening. Thank you so much, Rachel, for this lovely presentation. And yes, uh, we do have some questions for you, which we have assigned to you. Please stay with us for a couple, uh, couple of more minutes wherein we can just forward the question and you can take them. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.